One of the most important parts of a fluid dispensing system is the handheld metering device. In this video, we are showing how to set up and use the 905 and 905SF electronic preset lube meter. Pressing the auto button toggles the metering between the manual and auto batch functions. In manual mode, auto should not appear on the screen. This allows simple dispensing by pulling the handle, then releasing when the desired amount is reached. To reset after manual dispense, simply press the reset button. The screen will flash and is ready for the next dispense. For auto batch dispensing, press the auto button until auto appears in the bottom left of the screen. To set the dispensing volume, use the 10, 1, and 0.1 buttons to input the amount for the dispense. Pulling the trigger will automatically lock the internal solenoid in the full open position and begin the dispense. Meter will shut off at the preset amount. If for any reason dispensing must stop, press the large red button to override and close the solenoid. The batch dispense can continue after emergency override by pulling on the trigger again. After the preset amount is reached and the meter shuts off, trigger may be pulled again to top off as needed. Once dispense is complete, press the reset button for the next batch. These meters may require changes to the dispensing unit measure and scale factor calibration to accurately dispense the given fluid for its pump setup. Enter the programming screen by pressing and holding both the total and auto buttons until PRG appears on the display. Release the buttons, then enter the following button combination. 1, auto, 10, 0 0.1, and lastly the total button. The next screen will display the current scale factor, and the unit of measure on the right should be flashing indicating it is selected. Change the unit of measure by pressing the total button until the desired unit is reached. Press the reset button to confirm selection and move to the scale factor setting. The first number of the scale factor should now be flashing. To change the number, simply press the total button. You can advance to the next number in the scale factor by pressing the reset button. Repeat this process of number selection and changing for the next four digits. Once all desired changes are made, press and hold the total and auto buttons. The display will flash three times, then go blank. Press the reset button to turn the display back on. Main display should now show the unit of measure you selected. To verify the scale factor saved, press and hold the total, then press and hold the auto button so the scale factor will display on the screen. Scale factor is important in accurately dispensing the correct amount of fluid for your application. Oils, gear oils, water-based fluids, and brake fluid have varying properties that cause the meter to behave and dispense differently. Consult the user manual for approximate values. However, we do recommend performing a test dispense and calibration procedure before placing into service. In our example, I am using our 905SF meter and calibrating to accurately dispense brake fluid. Calculating the absolute scale factor requires a dispense into a graduated container. In our case, we dispensed 5 liters into the graduated container, but our 905SF display read 4.89 liters. We can take those values and input them into this equation after the manual dispense to calculate the new scale factor. Take this new scale factor, and following the previous steps, input the new scale factor and save. Run a second dispense to confirm the new scale factor is accurate. At this point, your meter is set up and ready to use. I hope this helps with better understanding our digital preset meters. If you have any further questions about our meters and other product offerings, contact our technical support representatives. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.